Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Salalipop and Trek has recently released their 2022 Pro Caliber lineup in the United States. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the updates and changes to these bikes from 2021 to give you all of those details and hopefully help you decide if you should get a 2021 bike or wait for those 2022 models. With that said, I'm going to organize this video by talking about each model in the range and I will be completing these tables for each bike and showing them at the end of the video so you can see all the changes in one place. At the end, I'll also give my thoughts on these 2022 changes, but let's get into it. So I've actually never talked about these bikes on my channel before, so for a quick background, these are cross-country focused mountain bikes from Trek. So they fit in with the Excalibur's Top Fuels and Super Calibers but in terms of price and spec level, they sit above the X calibers. All of these bikes are made out of carbon fiber, so there are no aluminum options available, and all of them have Trex ISO speed system, which makes them more compliant, and they thus absorb bumps better than a normal hardtail. They're overall just designed to be pretty lightweight and fast, and made to race cross-country. And before we begin, I do want to mention that the least expensive bike in the range is the Pro Calibre 9.5, and that bike has actually received no updates from 2021 currently, so I will not be discussing that bike in this video. There's also a Pro Calibre 9.8 in some other countries, but it is not available in the United States and has not been updated for 2022 at the time of me making this video, so I won't be covering that one here either. I am, however, considering making a comparison on the entire Pro Calibre lineup to show you all the differences between the three or four bikes in the range, so please comment down below if you want me to make that video, and I'll see how many people are interested. But with that out of the way, let's start off this video by talking about the changes to the Pro Calibre 9.6 for 2022. Okay, so this bike in 2021 was priced at $2,780 US dollars, and I'll show the prices in other currencies as well, but the new bike has increased a little bit to $2,900. And since these bikes have not been released in the UK or other European countries at the moment, I do not have the official prices in pounds or euros, but I will add a pinned comment down below if anything does change. But next, we can talk about a fun update, which is the color. So the 2021 Pro Caliber 9.6 only came in one color in the United States, which was a radioactive red with Trek black accents. It did, however, come in a matte carbon smoke with gloss Trek black and volt green accents in some other countries. For the 2022 model year, the bike currently only has one color option, which is blue carbon smoke. The first update to this bike is actually to the hubs, which are essentially the same model hubs as last year since they are Bontrager alloy hubs, but the new bike uses oil slick colored hubs instead of the black ones, and also has 108 points of engagement instead of 54, which is much better when riding in technical sections to prevent those pedal strikes. Then we have another component update, which is to the saddle. Now both bikes actually use the same model of saddle, which is the Bontrager Arvada, with hollow chromoly rails, but the new bike uses oil slick colored rails to match those hubs. And the last change to this bike for 2022 is the weight. And since not much has changed at all on this bike, the weight is basically the same, but it did increase a tiny amount from 24.99 pounds to 25.07 pounds in a size medium. And it is worth mentioning that these bikes are weighed with tubeless sealant installed instead of inner tubes, since these bikes come tubeless prepared from the factory. But moving on, we have the Pro Caliber 9.7. This bike in 2021 costed 4,200 US dollars, but it has increased a little bit to $4,300 for 2022. For the colors, the 2021 model in the US only came in the color lithium gray with Trek black accents, but in other countries, once again, it did come in a marigold color with lithium gray accents, which is the same color as the Fuli X5 for 2021. But the new bike has replaced these colors with a new one, which is a navy smoke to alpine blue fade, a color we've already seen on the new Trek Session. For the component changes, the first one we have is to the saddle, which was a Bontrager Montrose Comp in 2021 that had steel rails and was 138mm wide. 
The new bike replaces this with the Bontrager P3 Verse Elite saddle, which has higher quality stainless steel rails and is wider at 145 millimeters. This new saddle is also 60 grams lighter in weight. The next change is to the stem, which was a Bontrager Covey Pro in 2021, but has been replaced with the Bontrager Elite stem in 2022. These stems have the same specifications and lengths, although the new stem is heavier by about 10 grams or so. But besides that, the only change we have is to the weight of the bike, which again has not changed much, but it was 23.05 pounds in 2021, but is now 23.06 pounds, so basically the same. And actually, those are all of the updates and changes to the Trek Pro Caliber lineup for 2022. I'll show both of those completed tables right now, but as you can see, we do not have too many changes for this new year. The new colors are pretty nice in my opinion, and the updates aren't bad, but nothing too crazy. I'm glad that the prices did not increase too much considering these minimal changes, but of course they did have to increase a bit due to inflation and the bike boom and everything that's still going on with COVID. However, I hope you still enjoyed this video, and if we do see any more changes and updates, I'll definitely add them in the comment section below, or just make a new video in the future if there are a lot more updates. For now though, thank you all for watching, and remember to keep biking out there.